頭にある2本の角はレーダーの役割を果たすとも言われてある高速で飛びながらバトルするには欠かせない能力でこれにより正確に相手を攻撃できるというわけじゃそれでは実際にスピードを披露していただこう Hello, everybody, and welcome into the Low Tab Lounge. My name is Jeremiah. I'm glad to have you in this evening. Go ahead and pull up a chair and get comfy because I have a brand new deck for you. So, this is、uh, what I like to call Garchomp Box. It is a toolbox of fighting type attackers, most of them that have pretty hefty attack costs, that all get powered up by Garchomp EX. Garchomp EX is a very, very good card. First, pretty bulky at 320 HP with Hydro Lander as its main source of damage and acceleration for the rest of the deck. So, we attach up to three basic fighting energy cards from our discard pile to our benched Pokemon in any way that we like.、And、we also have Sonic Dive, which can be a spicy way to wrap up games. We discard two energy from this Pokemon and it does 120 to one of our opponent's Pokemon. That gets to snipe things like Manaphy, s t i r a c h i s and even the Barrels, which is a very good choice for shutting down people with very small hands that have a Barrel on bench. Garchomp has a free retreat cost. So after you power up whatever you have on your bench, you get to go ahead and free retreat down into it.、Uh, we also get to play Pidgeot EX. In my opinion, any deck that is running Rare Candy or any Stage 2 line, if you have the room, And honestly, if you don't have the room, make the room. Pidgeot EX is an insane card, pulling out four Seal Stoning every single turn for any card in the deck that you like is absolutely insane. One of the best cards in our format right now. As far as other Pokemon in the deck, we are running Squawkabilly EX. I've played it in a couple of decks of mine, and honestly, I have trouble running any kind of deck without it now. I just like playing fast. We have Great Tusk EX. Great Tusk EX is our answer to V Star Pokemon and is our answer to Mimikyu or anything that has、uh, damage negating abilities or effects on it. Great Bash is 260 damage and it shreds. It gets through all effects either by abilities or by attacks on your opponent's Pokemon. It does come with the caveat that at the end of our turn we have to mill the top five off of our deck. If we don't have Path to the Peak in play, I do run a one of a Path to the Peak, which I can search out with Pidgeot. We are also running Terrakion. Terrakion is our answer to Gardevoir, really any single prize deck that is going to want to trade two for one with us. So, Terrakion, Cavern Tackle, it only does 120 damage. But against a lot of single prizers, that's really good. It really hits m a r i d o n hard. But the coolest part of this attack is during our opponent's next turn, this cannot take any damage. It does have the caveat that if、uh, we use Cavern Tackle, we cannot use, this attack cannot be used again next turn. So we retreat all three energy. We don't mind retreating it for its retreat cost because we're just going to retreat it back into the Garchomp and power it back up or one of our other toolbox attackers here. We also run Hisuian Arcanine V. This thing has two main uses. First and foremost, it is our target for Forest Seal Stone. Forest Seal Stone in conjunction with Pidgeot is a very consistent and good way to be able to finish up extended combos to make big plays, get to Garchomp EX very early,、uh, get all those stage twos in as fast as we can. But also, Rock Bullet is not too shabby attack at all. As far as one shotting very big. Uh, pushing 300 HP targets, this is really our only way to get there. So, especially late game, we're able to get this thing powered up pretty easily, just move it into the active, and get a big attack off. As far as trainers go, there's not too much that is particularly spicy. We are running, of course, four Rare Candy and four Arvin. I have considered running Irida to get the. To get the Garchomp into play as it is a water type. However, I do really enjoy digging out a Forest Seal Stone as well as our. We are playing Choice Belt for the Great Tusk. Great Tusk going 260. Throw that on, it's one shot in Giratina V Star. Or any V Star for that matter. It is, it is and has been a very, very good 
and very essential card in the deck that I have found. So for now, we're not playing the Iridus. I may come back and change that at some point. If you guys have had success with it, uh, let me know down in the comments, and I will see about trying to switch that up. Playing four battle VIP pass, of course, wanting to see it early. We are playing one Path to the Peak. This is mainly to offset the, <laughs> the trouble that the Great Tusky X can give us. That Quaking Demolition is, <laughs> it is absolutely brutal sometimes. I have found myself discarding at Locals uh, last week. I ended up discarding five supporters off the top. So we get it powered up and in play, we can search this with Pidgeot. And it's also just a really good disruption option against any EX or V deck that is ability-based. Goldingo, Charizard, it's a really good early answer to those, especially if you're already powered up. And one of my favorite cards in the deck right now is Cheryl, just as a one-of because it is searchable off of Pidgeot. We heal all damage from our evolution Pokemon, discard all the energy that we healed this way. So we discard just one energy off of our Guard Chomp for the most part and we power it back up. That about does it for the deck list. If you guys have any suggestions, like I said, leave them down in the comments for us. I am always open to suggestions and always willing to give a second look at a deck if you guys are interested in it. And yeah, let's just get right into the games. All right, going first here. Not a bad looking hand, really. If we can find our way into a into a rare candy or an Arvin, then we're pretty much off to the races here. We need to find some energy too. I typically don't like to set the Great Tusk on the bench first turn if I can help. Oh, gracious. Yeah, we're going to have to wrap this up quick. Hmm. Matter of fact, I don't know if I even want to keep this hand now. Especially if we do have another... Pidgeot in deck. We sure do. Yeah, I want to start getting knockouts as quick as I can. Hmm. Get this guy down as well. And I definitely do not want to risk having this down on the bench. Because if they draw that up and we, which we just tossed our path to the peak, then we will end up milling ourselves for five each turn. And I've had some pretty wicked mills off of that as well. Uh, let's get one of these guys down so we can search. Okay. Not bad at all for next turn. Is there anything else we, really, we want to dig out of the deck? Really, we can just focus on. We can just focus on using Garchomp this game. It's not like we're going to have to do a lot of big damage or anything like that. So we do get a, an attack off before they get to. Well, I mean, they can mill us uh, for a card this game. Or not this game, this turn, rather. But I really don't see... Typically, they wait for Reversal Energy to be live, I believe. So they can go ahead and mill for the... I think it's... You can mill six cards? Maybe more. Okay. That's not so bad. And what did this come to? Of tools and special energies and stadiums, so we did get rid of that. Or we did not have anything to get rid of, rather. So let's go ahead and we definitely grab a rare candy or for, for a seal stone. We can ditch this guy and this guy. Yeah, with the Forge Seal Stone, we can get there. Yeah, we can search two cards. Cool. So we'll go ahead and quick search for Garchomp. And 
and Star Alchemy for a rare candy. There we are. And we don't have anything to tack on as far as Hydralander goes, getting stuff out of the discard, but we're not really worried about it this turn. Or this game, really. We just want to get to where we are getting these things off of the field. I do not want to get milled. We're just going to do our best to outrun them. Make sure that we can get these Wiglets out of here. Or these Wug Trios, even. So, they are going to be able to extend the game. And we don't have another... We don't have another out to this, I don't believe. Unless, I don't remember if I'm running. Lost Vacuum in here? No, it's been a second since I've, since I've looked at the list. <laughs> so they can mill nine cards. The last time I went up against this deck, I ended up getting... Uh, they did it... They attacked with it three times in a row, and they hit three heads each and every time. Gracious, and they're going to be able to grab another one out of the deck, too. Another Wiglet. So we will have to save our Ionos. We're going to get to do this every turn. Oh my goodness, and they just have so much search in their hand. And they got it to where they cannot deck out. Not bad for them. No. All right, yep. No. Yeah, that's what no. we like to see. Take that. That's what we like to see. You're not milling me. And really... I guess it would be a good idea to go ahead and start digging out pieces that we don't want to see leave our hand. Or leave our deck, rather. So we'll grab this for now. And there's nothing in particular I am worried about as far as bossing or anything goes. So we will go ahead and take a knockout on this as well. Here's to hoping they do not have any card draw or access to the barrel or a blood trio next turn. We've already got rid of one Reversal Energy. I'm sure they're running four. But, in theory, we can... If they find one every single turn, it's, it's still a really tight margin with only 24 cards left in deck. Okay, no card draw, please. No Ultra Ball. There's the Ultra Ball, <laughs> so they're going to get to see some cards here. No Reversal Energy. I think maybe the correct play is to take this off the bench if they don't bench another Bidoof next turn. If they don't get this powered up, that is. If they get this powered up this turn, that's perfectly fine. We can live with that. We have access to switch. Policy. Pokemon. Flippity coins. And any of them are Tails. Draw three cards at the end of your turn. Okay. So another basic Pokemon. Lord of Mercy. Manaphy. That's not a bad play. No Reversal Energy. No Reversal Energy. We could deal with the Jet Energy. That's perfectly fine. That's going to be a waste anyway. Okay. Is it a random card? Do not get rid of my boss. Oh, it's off the top of my deck. That's fine. So let's go ahead and switch. And I like, I love the idea, matter of fact, of leaving them with just one card and no draw engine. So let's dig out this Garchomp here. We do have another, we have an escape rope left, and all of these are not really a problem. And we can, matter of fact, I think we do that here. 
It actually would have been smarter to put it here or here, but it's not a problem so long as we hang on to it in hand. Let's get rid of their draw engine here. No more cards. No draw supporters, please. Let's see what they find here. Which they're going to be able to artisan. Another counter catcher. That makes sense. I don't like them flipping heads off that. <laughs> That's okay though. Let's go ahead and put this here. Activate its ability to move energy to it. That way we're not wasting a switch card just yet if we don't have to. And we will go ahead and dig out. I think I'm gonna dig out another boss here and take out that Wug Trio back there. I don't know if they're running double turbo, but I do think that is the move here. Because this requires them to not only draw the Wug Trio, but also energy for it, as opposed to just drawing energy for the Wug Trio back there. So let's grab this, pull it up, and take a knockout. And with two turns left for us to take prize cards with, I think that we will be able to manage. Let's see what they got here for us. Which they do have the ability to squove it a couple times. Not this turn, but squove it once. Artisan for what? A fail? Surely they run more than just a 1 1 line of the Bidoof the Barrel. We have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is their last one, so they're going to have to bank on a super rod. Fair enough. That's really, I think that's the correct play, but. I don't think that they have a way to mill us out now. Maybe they can just bank on trying to get us stuck with something inactive next turn is what they're going for. But we'll go and take a prize. Super odd. Nothing really re relevant, I don't believe. Really, I should be searching for. I should have rare. I should have searched for the rare candy that turn. Okay, let's see. <laughs> what, what can they get? Nine cards. Yeah. Maximum nine cards. I think that the writing is on the wall for them. I do think that that is going to be game. I don't. I don't think of a way for them to strand any of these Pokemon here. Okay, good deal. Good game. There we go. 900 damage. <laughs> Not bad numbers at all. All right, let's see if I get into another one here. Pretty coin. I've not seen that one just yet. Hmm. Heads always shreds. They chose correctly. Let's see what they end up having here for us. Okay, this isn't bad for me. I do not mind going first at all. We will take a hand like this. We'll take it every day and twice on Sunday. All right, we're gonna get a little peek at what they're up to. Ah, uh, looks like... Hmm. With lucky energy. Okay. Uh, I suppose Shimpal backs Caliber with Kingdra. Let's see what they open here. 
with all the energy retrievals, it makes me think that they're going to be going down that route. With a manatee, Frigibac's open. It does feel bad to ditch both of these Ionos, but it's definitely something I believe I'm going to do. I think I'm going to try and strand... Is that the two retreat? I think I'm going to try and get that thing out in the open. Oh, and we prized Squawkabilly, so we are rocking with this hand. Let's see what else we prize before we put this thing down. We have three Arvins. So we do have a way to get to it. We do have our forest seal stone. Okay. Party wants to save this Ultra Ball. See what I draw into, but we do want to do this. No, 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 no. Like I said, they're not going to be attacking next turn. Do I want to Ultra Ball? We could draw Rare Candy, and then I would be upset that I'd put a basic down instead. So I think we hang on to this Ultra Ball here. Looks like they have a similar opening to me. Okay. We did not ditch Manaphy just yet. So we definitely need to get that guy going. I'm surprised they didn't get another Fridge of X down. This thing is in trouble if we find a way to get to Garchomp. It's in big trouble, matter of fact. They didn't prize another one, so... They are definitely playing a risky game here. We're going to slow them down big time if we're able to get a knockout on this. Okay. So we thin the deck here. I think I'd like to save one. That puts three energy to get on to something else here. Let's grab this mana feet. Even though their hand looks to be kind of dead, we will go ahead and Iono. Oh, okay, cool. That is a huge play. Good deal. So we'll go ahead and search out the Guard Chomp here. Something I did notice is that I am playing... I'm opting to play Arvin instead of Irida as of right now on this list. I'm not saying that's correct, but it is what I am doing right now. I I like searching out the four seal to be able to grab extra cards. I just feel it gives me a lot more options going uh, going second, being able to dig out Arcanine and the four seal with the Arvin. But I may consider if you guys have been running it, leave a comment down below. Let me know how it's working out for you if you're running Irida. But as of right now, it's good. I've seen people just running the Irida in this list, and I, can, I imagine it's pretty good. And we'll put the other one here. We do have enough to bring this up into the active, and I think we can one-shot the Shin Pao with it, even. Please load it up on the Tracheon in case they do decide to strand it. That's an interesting choice. That's why. I'm thinking about bossing that up. We could take the knockout with the Terrakion. Maybe no need to. Just attach here. Ooh, that hurts. But with them. Hmm. With them not being able to get a Fax Caliber down next turn at this current state, I think getting rid of this and this is the move. Because 90 and 90 isn't really going to hurt anything I have on the bench right now. They are trying to gear up for it. I'm going to go ahead and knock that out over there, though. So I'm going to attach this here. I'm going to go ahead and search out. If I have a nest ball, I'm going to go ahead and thin with it. 
We'll see if that does us any good here. Yeah, I like that play. Because taking out the Frigidbacks, I don't think they're going to find a way to accelerate another one. This gives me the option to Rare Candy, or rather search a Garchomp and just Rare Candy immediately. Let's go ahead and a hold of this guy. And I believe that is... Yeah, that's only one. So we still have another one on deck if they decide to bench another Frigidbacks here. Where do we want to put this one? Put it here for now. In case they decide to strand it. Once again, going for uh, going for this guy here. I think we just if we if we haven't prized, I didn't I didn't make note of the prize as well enough here. But if we didn't prize that, I think we just boss this up. Maybe. <sighs> Gracious, doing this again. How many do we have left? We should have one more left. Losing the energy is not a big problem. So yeah, we don't get to search. I'm not really worried about playing that Great Tusk or this research. We kind of already have our game plan here. So, it's Ultra Ball for, let's see, I didn't, I didn't check prizing very good, or not prizing, well yeah, prizing. Grab this Gibble here, no more Avery's please. I do not want to see Avery again. There's the boss. Playing with no more boss is definitely tough, but I don't want to lose a prize here. And also they've wasted so many turns powering this up. This does not feel good for them. And whatever they promote, I think we have enough energy on board just about to knock it out. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, just finding, once again, Pidgeot is absolute monster of a card. Being able to dig out whatever you need to to close out games like that is, I think it's one of the best cards in the format right now. If you are running a Stage 2 line and you have Rare Candy in your deck, especially if you're running four Rare Candy or Arvins, any way to get to Rare Candy pretty easily, I would say that getting into Pidgeot's worth it. Okay. Ooh, that's not a very nice open. That is not very pretty at all. Let's see what they flip over here for us. Hopefully they have this. All right, this looks interesting. It does not look like a good matchup for me. Uh, it's about even, actually. I they can one-shot my water energy. Okay. They can one-shot my Garchomp. Well, it only does 240. We do... we got to save this Manaphy here. I actually did want to see the research. That's not bad for having the energy in hand. Let's hope we did not prize our Squawkabilly again. <laughs> okay. That's what we're doing. Do we have an Ultra Ball in hand? No. I want to keep this... Let's see. Do we have our four seal in deck this turn? Or this game? We do. So... I think we put the Arcanine in our hand for now. Or on the bench. We bank on finding another VIP or Ultra Ball and S Ball. Something to be able to get a... Something to be able to get that... Down. Okay. We... Oh, gracious. This is turning out to be a lot better than I anticipated. So let's get another one. Ooh, almost misclicked. Let's get one more of these down. Yeah, that is much, much better. Let's go ahead and do this and thin the deck. 
couple of energy in hand. Next turn, we're looking to do some good things. So long as I don't want to lose the mana fee, if I do, it's just scary leaving out a water type out in the open for them like that. Do this, hope that we don't get punished. I'd rather get punished with, I don't want to get punished either way. I feel like an Iono is more likely than a Lost Vacuum for whatever they're playing. So we will hang out like this for now. Let's see what they have here for us. I have no clue. I'm going to be honest. Bad Pokemon fan? I don't know what this evolves into. <laughs> I don't even... I, uh, I know... Lantern. Yeah, it evolves into Lantern. But as far as in the game goes, I have no clue what it's going to do. I don't know what this card does. Okay, so it's Buddy Coffin on a supporter. We'll take it. I'd much rather be at Battle VIP play Professor's Research. What are we playing? It? What are we? Okay, does this... Uh... Does Lantern have sw Swim Swiftly? This is definitely a deck that I am playing against. <laughs> right, this is what this does here. Swim Freely, not Swim Swiftly. I don't know if Lantern has Swim Freely or not. Is it any energy? No, only water energy. I feel like you pick it up no matter what. That way, even if it's a bad... Oh, you can put it on the bottom of your deck. Okay. So we... Star Alchemy for a rare candy. Pull one down here. We need one of these so we can retreat. Uh, yeah, I want to get the Tracheon down. Yeah, yeah. Alright, make sure I was doing this correctly. For some reason, I thought I'd already used the quick search. Now we find a rare candy. Arcanine, once again, four seal. And Arcanine really showing through here. Really helpful in completing those extended combos to get into big plays like this one. And we will go find our Terrakion to get powered up here. Promote and oh, this does not. It is resisted. Okay. Even still, for one price, just like this, Terrakion is a really good option. So if not get here, go ahead and load up this Terrakion here. We have already used our professor's research, so maybe we can dig out. A, an Iono with the Pidgeot. Try and see some more cards. This thing's going to take 240, but we are protected from its bench damage. Cool. Put this here. Their hand, came, their hand seems kind of dead. I may not Iono them. I may just dig out an Arvin. Bank on them not having an Iono for us next turn. Retreat this out. This up. And this doesn't relevant, so we'll probably just keep a hold of it for discard fodder. Let's 
So yeah, it's uh, it is resisted, but this thing is not going to take damage next turn. Even without the mana fee, this thing is terrestrialized. a lot, so it wouldn't take damage on the bench. But now we can promote. It is scary to promote this. Matter of fact, we may just switch into the Arcanine. Oh, or they can just boss. Oh, it's still. Oh, that's not going to work though. If that's if that's the play that they're going for is here. That's not going to work. I don't believe it's going to work here either. That is a really nope. smart play, but. And they tried to put it on the Garchomp. So, the caveat of Cavern Tackle is that we cannot use it again. I kind of want to. Uh, no, there's, that, that'd be a waste of time. So, we'll go ahead and hop ahead two prizes here. Or, better yet, we can just share all this, grab ourselves an energy or a vessel. Being able, and really, I didn't think to, but that is the beauty of the one Cheryl and the Pidgeot, is that it is searchable. That was most definitely the correct play there. Go ahead and put another one here. Next turn, we still have access to finding a Garchomp. And we will go ahead and take two prizes here. Hmm. Put one here. And another here. This thing has free retreat. I guess we could start trying to make a point of powering that up as a backup attacker if we ever had to, especially if we can just move it onto the Arcanine. I'd say that was probably the correct move. And they're gonna go ahead and concede. Fair enough. I have no clue what they're playing. I wish there's a way to look at their list. Moving right along, moving plenty fast, and getting a couple of dubs anyway. Alrighty, Bubby Womp, let's see what you got for us here. A peek at what I'm doing. And I went first. Oh no. <laughs> Going second. This would have been so... Oh gracious. This would have been a better hand. Hey, I, uh, I've won every game so far this evening. Maybe it's time to show you guys what the deck can do whenever it's struggling pretty bad. We do have a way to get to the guard shop. Next turn, we just have to find energy. I still have no clue what they're playing, but they do have another Pokemon in hand. Oh dear, this is not good. This is not good at all. We have to find an energy next turn. And even then, we're still on a pretty bad struggle bus. I wonder if they're gonna find Battle VIP Pass. <laughs> no. Okay. I guess we're just not playing it, or they already have four in hand. Oh, they get to do this turn one! This isn't a donk, but it may as well be a donk. <laughs> What can we search out next turn? Nest Ball? All of our battle VIPs are dead. Hey, we can force seal for a couple of them. A mimic human deck would be really cool. This is just, uh, yeah. This is really unfortunate. If I'd gone second, oh gracious, if I'd gone second, it would have been such a good hand. Battle VIP, Force Seal for another Battle VIP. Arvin the following turn for an Ultra Ball. Would have been off to the races. They would have been so good. But instead, here we are. Any moment now, you can go ahead and grab a prize card. I have to just strand this thing. 
attempt to, anyway. We did already lose star power. We'll see. It is a bad look. We can do this. We'll pound store for the four seal stone. I didn't check to see if I had didn't check to see if I had a counter catcher in there. We can do that now though. No counter catcher. This works though. Now, do we want to Arvin them? Or them? Do we want to Arvin? Grab a nest ball? I think we need to see more cards, but man. These rare candies going to the bottom is going to hurt. I'm just not sure how slow exactly I want to play. I think we do this in an attempt to find more Pokemon. Find a couple of nest balls, maybe. Alright, there are no Pokemon here. I think that this just may be an L. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to disrespect me like that. I know it was a bad play. We'll just spin the deck here. How many Nest Balls do we even have? So many Pokemon in deck, though. You'd think I'd be drawing at least a couple. And two Nest Balls. Both of our Nest Balls. You'd think we would have found something. Let's see what they have here for us. It won't take much. All they need to do is get... Switch card and a status card, and that would be the game. Halfway there. Now you just need to find a curry. Which rotates, so this won't be happening all the time. This still hurts pretty bad. Okay. I have not seen that card used. Oh, that does it. That does it. They do 200. Oh, gracious. They have absolutely everything they do. Ooh, that new animation is pretty nice. Oh, man. And there it is. Donked, bricked, and donked. But hey, we can't complain. We've had a pretty good night. Yeah, and that does it for the games. Overall, I'm really happy with the consistency of the deck. I've been playing off and on at Locals for a couple weeks. Some issues that I have found have been only one super rod. I've said this in previous videos, I am not very good. Resource management is something that I personally struggle with. Finding room for a second super rod makes every deck way more player friendly, a lot easier to pilot. So finding another spot for another super rod would definitely be something I suggest. Another point that can be made is tool removal or stadium removal. If you could find some lost vacuums or maybe some stadiums that you think would work for you, that would definitely be worth trying to find space for. As our meta evolves and new stadiums and new tools come out, I definitely think it would be optimal to try and find some removal for something like bravery charms or whatever else may come out later. Well, that is going to do it for the games, and that is going to do it for me this evening. I really appreciate you coming and spending some time with me here in the Low Tad Lounge. We hope that you join us again here soon. If you liked what you saw, leave us a like, and if you have any suggestions for us, be sure that you leave it down in the comments. We're always looking for suggestions. If you liked what you saw, if you want to see something different, or if you have some suggestions to make changes to a deck that you've already seen on the channel, be sure to let us know. We're always looking at comments, always looking to interact and respond to you guys. Be sure that you check out some other content on the channel, and I really hope that we get to see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Good night.